Hey guys, it's Slycoon here from 4Gamers. Today I'm coming at you with an episode with a bunch of our friends on our realm server. And we're doing episode 3 of our Let's Play series. So we're gonna go to the jungle and get ourselves some kitty cats. So um, we're gonna need to tame some ocelots. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna meet uh, my friends. We actually have three people on our realm ser server today. We have Terravolt um, and Hydron as usual, but we have a special guest. Uh, we have... The Dark Knight! Yeah! Oh, wow. They're, like, and terrible, and, uh, well, Brandon is the Dark Knight, but anyway, they're, they seem to be, um, kind of mixed up together. But anyway, I'm gonna ring, uh, Hydron's doorbell, and we're gonna try to get him to come out of his house. So, uh, let's, uh, Hydron, are you there? Come on out. We're gonna go to the jungle today. Yay! There's Hydron! Okay, guys, so, um, anyway, so this is our survival realm server. If this is your first time watching, um, uh, basically, it's just an open world and we all hang out and stuff and it's um survival mode and <laughs> Hydron's already with a bunch of fish. I have 25 fish, so I think I should be okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Cool. All right, cool. Um, so uh, Terravolt is amazing at building things and he built this huge rail all the way to the uh, to the jungle biome, which if we look at the departure times in our little train station, you can see that um, it's 7 minutes and 30 seconds to the jungle and 2 minutes and 15 seconds to the village. So, um, we're, we're gonna pass a village. Do you guys want to stop off at the village really fast? Or should we do that, um, another time? Um, so do you want to stop at the village? Okay, yeah, we can stop at the village this time. Just help me remember, because, well, I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm gonna grab a minecart. And to the village and jungle, this is the right one. So you're just gonna hop right in and press the button and we're gonna get going. So, um... Yeah, this is our little rail system we got going on. It's um, it's very very long. Uh, we basically we basically cleared out all the dungeons uh, around, and um, used a ton of iron and sticks. And there's the top of our little castle in our world. Oh, why did <laughs> someone? Why did you? <laughs> someone shot my minecart out. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. All right, I'm gonna get back in. All right. Sorry, I think I sent I think I sent Hydro in the back the other way, but if that was Hydro who shot me, then I'm not really sorry. Oh no, it's terrible. He stopped. All right, there he is. Cool. All right, well we're gonna keep going and hopefully they'll catch up with us, guys. So um, anyway, yeah, this is uh, like a little foresty field and there's always like a horse on this side and a horse on that side i have a horse he's really cool but um i don't have a blonde horse which so i'm thinking about taming some of these and then there's dalmatian bunny because bunny rabbits are really sweet and awesome and cuddly and cute but um anyway yeah so and then there's some sheep and i actually have to remember to get off at the right spot see that little pillar that's approaching that that lets me know that we're really close so ow um so i got off uh just to be safe because i got rid of the stop because sometimes we send materials back and forth and um oh there's terrible he somehow got <laughs> ahead of me that's pretty cool um i actually ditched my minecart a little bit early over there so um i'm gonna have to go get it um unless terrible or i mean unless hydrone got it for me he's well he crashed so um i'll just get our i'll just get our mine cards guys uh there's one there's two and then i don't see the dark knight but i'm assuming he'll catch up with us um all right hydrone here's your here's your mine cart you ready all right here you go boom there you go okay i'm gonna jump into this water awesome sweet i didn't hurt myself i really thought i would so um all right, cool. Anyway, we're going to go over to this village uh, that uh, we kind of built up and just show you guys really quick what we've done over here. So um, Terravolt discovered this village on the way to the jungle, and there's also a swamp way over there in that distance. Um, so anyway, I lit the heck out of this thing. I built a ton of, uh, of, of fences around it, too, and I lit the heck out of it so that no, uh, no uh, zombies or anything spawn in and kill all the villagers. Um, because we really like the villagers and um, if you guys are wondering what the lights intensity needs to be set if you just have no idea I didn't know for a while it's um if if you hit f3 I'll show you guys really quick if you go and look at the light uh, third from the bottom thing it says light 15 sky 9 block so if you go to any block that says 7 or under that means that zombies can spawn and you need to light it up. So uh, that's just something interesting to know. But anyway, this is the little village. Here we have the little uh, blacksmith uh, area. 
We got some gold ingots and apples. Uh, always a cool combination. Hey, there's there's uh, there's Batman. But anyway, yeah. So um, I don't think there's enough gold in there to make golden apples. But uh, we can we hopefully we don't need to convert any uh zombie villagers, right, Hydron? I think all of these ones are safe. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm actually not seeing any vill. Oh, there's a villager. So um. Yeah, here's some uh, villagers. They're pretty cool. I like their eyes in this resource pack. This resource pack is called Faithful, if you guys were wondering. It's really, really, really awesome. Uh, it's H-E. And I built this little safe house. Anyway, yeah, I built this safe house for all of us, guys. So um, when we come to the village, we just come in here. And um, there's only three beds because I couldn't really fit more. But I'm sure we could uh, stick another bed up maybe uh, maybe up top here, you know, maybe like super cozy. I don't know. But um, anyway, yeah, I built a little kitchen, a crafting table, and I keep a bunch of random stuff in here, I guess. You know, I'm going to throw this raw mutton into the little furnace but anyway yeah this is a really cool thing i just thought we'd show you guys and um just growing some crops too uh and yeah so this is the little village it's uh it's pretty neat uh but you know um we don't really come here too often so we thought you'd sh we'd show you that uh to you guys so anyway uh oh no it's gonna be a rainy ride to the jungle so we guys we, be we better go uh we we better go jump back into the mine carts and uh hopefully we'll make it to the jungle oh no Oh no, look at all these skeletons. Oh no, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. No, no, no. No, no. I feel like we, we contacted a lost tribe and they're just shooting at us or something. Like, oh man. But, um, you know, this could be a really fun game, actually. We could actually we could actually shoot at the... the uh... Oh boy. Yeah, we could shoot at the mobs. Okay, actually, that's not a fun game. I think I shot my own minecart accidentally. Um, I think that's what, what Terravolt did, too. Um... But, yeah, so we're going to keep going to the jungle, and hopefully we'll make it there all right. So, anyway, I guess we'll see you guys there, though, because it's a very, very long journey. And, like I said, it's seven and a half minutes all the way there. So, uh, anyway, we'll see you guys in the jungle. All right, guys, I see a swamp approaching, which means that we're really close to the jungle. Like I said, it's about 7 minutes and 30 seconds to get to from our little town to the jungle. So uh, I didn't really want to put you through that boredom. But uh, anyway, yeah, so um, we're going to go through a little swampy swamp. And uh, as you can see up over there, we see a little jungle. And there's our jungle outpost, which Terravolt made, which looks absolutely amazing. And there's a bunch of cocoa beans. There's a cocoa bean farm going on over there. And uh, basically, that's our little outpost that we have going on um, for the jungle. And it's really cool. We have a bunch of beds up there and a kitchen. And it's it's actually really pretty. Like, I kind of want to do more architecture like that in our town. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get out of my minecart really quick so no one gets, you know, pushed back. Oh, and I forgot. Um, there were a bunch of zombie villagers uh, here. And we, we hit them with uh, potions, of, potions of weakness and uh, fed them golden apples. So now we have a few, uh, few villagers, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, I heard a meow. Uh, we also have a, I think someone has a pet cat here. Um, but anyway, let's see. That's not the entrance. There's the entrance. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is the jungle outpost. And it's really exciting. I love how green the jungle is. Uh, don't you love how green the jungle is? Green's Hydron's favorite color, even though he's a blue robot. But uh, yeah, I love how vibrant everything is. And let's see. Will this guy give me any good trades? Uh, coal... Um, I don't really feel like talking to the cleric. Yeah, but anyway, so, um, oh, sorry, there you go. I didn't mean to lock you out, Hydron. <laughs> but anyway, um, here's a little cocoa bean farm. Um, and if you didn't know how to mine cocoa beans, what you do is you just, uh, you just hit it. It gives you a bunch of cocoa beans. Then you put the cocoa beans in your inventory and you plant another one. And then that will turn orange, uh, later. And you can mine it again. So you get three per seed. And yeah, then you can see like Terravolt's going crazy with it, which is amazing. And you can get like, we got stacks. If you like mine all of these at the same time, you get like two or three stacks. Like it's ridiculous. Like our storage was full. So um, anyway, but yeah, it was necessary for me to make my house because I have a little patch of brown fur on my head that I needed for my house. So we couldn't, I couldn't do that until we got <laughs> like uh, the brown wool. But anyway, um, and here, yeah, there's a little cat, so it's really cute. It's a little cute little tabby, and um, we have some storage and some smelty smelts, and yeah. So I think if I look at the time of day, it's only about noon. So we could actually, um, we could actually go searching for some ocelots now, guys. Do you want to go? 
All right, cool. So I have 30. Wow, thanks for the extra fish, Hydron. I didn't realize how much extra you gave me. But yeah, so let's go search for some uh, some ocelots. And I think we're going to start just kind of go behind our house um, or the outpost. I don't know. This feels like a house. You did a good job, Terrible. So, so thank you. <laughs> but oh, no. Is it really raining? Wow, that's gonna be that's gonna be interesting, but uh, maybe it'll clear up like instantaneously. That'd be cool because sometimes it does that. I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna keep. Uh, I don't want to die, so I'm gonna go over here and maybe go up this mountain. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, where are you, ocelots? We need to find you. We need to find you, ocelots. All right, there's a piggy. It's not what we want. All right, let's scale down here. There's another piggy and another sheep and another sheep. So many animals, but of the wrong type. All right, try to jump there. All right, cool. All right, we see some more cocoa beans. Hmm. All right, let's go over here. Maybe to the left a bit. I have no idea where I am. Um. Okay, that's a cavern, so they wouldn't be in there. Wow. Ocelots are really tough to find. Oh, an ocelot! <laughs> we found an ocelot, guys. Wow, it's all the way in the distance, but I see one. All right, we got to go get it. Let's see. Um, Ow, okay. Hopefully he doesn't run away from us. I'm going to get my fish ready. Okay, let's see. Boom, there we go. Okay. Little ocelot, to you, my friend, I want to make you my pet please all right ocelot come here yes come closer come closer little ocelot come here friend come here i have fish for you i have fish for you oh it just darted off oh no i hope we didn't lose it oh there he is there he is all right we gotta sneak we gotta sneak he has to be he has to he has to want it oh no come come it's okay i'm not gonna hurt you I'm not going to hurt you, little ocelot. Come. Come on. I don't want the fish. You you want the fish. Come here. Stop running away, please. Come, little ocelot. Come closer. We all have to sneak because he's really scared. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. It's raining. Now he's going to be really scared. All right. He went into this little hole place. Oh. Oh. There he is. All right. All right, little ocelot. Wait, don't leave. Don't leave. Come back. Come back. Here's fish. You know you want it. Yes, look. Delicious fish. Delicious fish, yes. Yay, He's he loves it. All right. Just going to keep feeding him. All right, convert, convert. Be my cat. Be my cat. You can do it. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. I want you to be, be my kitty. Come. Where did you go? We were chasing this ocelot all night, guys. And I think we finally <laughs> finally got it in some water. I don't know if it'll still go into begging mode like this, but we it's worth a shot. So it can't really run it can't really run too far, so unless that leads to a cavern, which it better not. <laughs> Alright, cool. I think we're okay. I think it knows how to swim. So it just needs to come to me and hopefully it doesn't drown down there because um um guys this doesn't look too good it went in a cavern are you kidding me of all the places this ocelot could have taken us it took us into a cavern wow i guess i gotta get the torches out all right we're gonna like i think we should wait over here and then <laughs> <laughs> wait for it to come through yeah we should turn this into a lava pit <laughs> just kidding don't do that <laughs> but yeah so i think maybe maybe okay okay it's looking at me now okay eat that one will you eat another no he won't okay you'll just go over there all right let's see it likes you. It's looking at it's. Oh look, it likes the torches you put down. All right. I just wish it would like being a cat more than it would like torches. 
Maybe we should name it Torches if it becomes a... I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if this thing ever becomes a cat. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right. Okay, it got it got all panicked at nothing and then ran. All right, come on. Come on, cat. It's been all night. It's been all night. You've chased us into this cavern. Or we've chased you, I guess, but same difference. We've chased you all the way into this cavern. Just become a cat. Yes, look. I have fish. I has fish for you. Come. Come, cat. Or ocelot that needs to be cat and doesn't listen. <laughs> Come on. All right, it doesn't have the hearts. It's looking at me. Let's see what it's going to do. It's going to walk away. It's going to pretend like I don't exist. It has its tail facing me. So it obviously doesn't like me. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Ocelot. Come on, just become a cat. I have this fish for you. Come on, I have this raw fish for you. It is very delicious. There you go. There, you eat it. You eat it? You like it? Yes. Come on, become a cat now. <sighs> I just heard a cat meow. Did you... Hydron, did you get a cat in the meantime when I've been chasing the... I've been chasing this ocelot and you got a cat yourself? Oh my goodness. Hydron... Well, Hydron's definitely a cat lover, which is <laughs> pretty amazing. Oh! Wait, is that... Did that just... No, you just got me excited. I thought that... <laughs> I thought that my ocelot converted. Come on, come on, ocelot. Look, see how cool, see how cool Hydron's cat is. Look how cool Hydron's cat is. It loves being a cat. Yeah, it loves being a cat. Come on, come on, come on. Just convert. So Hydron, I have to make it. I have to make it look at me, right? It has to look at me. So it's looking at me right now. Should I feed it? Oh, it just stopped looking. Okay, it's looking at me now. Should I feed it? No, it's the hearts have to go away, right? Okay. Your cat is purring. Your cat loves... Your cat loves the, uh... Whatever you do. Come on. Come closer to me. It's a lot more cool. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. All right. We're going to feed it really gently. <gasps> Yay! It became a cat! Hooray! That was way harder than it needed to be. Hey, look! Look! Maybe our cats are brothers. Do you think they're bro or do you think they're do you think they're brothers? Yeah, I think that's why maybe maybe this one can convince this one to become a cat. So um yeah, so that was awesome. All right, here's some more fish. So thanks for ouch. <gasps> they made a baby cat. Oh my goodness. How did that? I didn't even notice that. And it's look, it's the same color. Oh my goodness, we got three cats in the same episode. That's so cool. I think I'm gonna name I think I think we should name this one Torches. Because this one was born in the torches. That one's cute. And then this one, I I think this one's name is gonna be Buttons. This one's is cool, because it's kinda like a tuxedo cat. And then I guess we'll come up with the well, you can name a cat if you have like a, a sign or whatever. But yeah, so Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of 4Gamers. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it was our cat spectacular jungle fiasco. And uh, anyway, if you liked it, please be sure to subscribe and like and uh, join us in the next one. So we'll see you later, guys. Bye.